All right, in this video, I'm going to do some examples of shading Venn diagrams where we have uh, three sets. And But just as a little reminder, remember if you do the intersection of two sets, what you do is you simply shade the overlap of those two regions. So here I've just shaded the, the parts that's in the, the, the region that's in both circles A and B. If it's the union or the or symbol, we just shade everything. So if we shade A or B, we're shading everything in A or in B. And remember this little apostrophe is the complement, which basically says you're shading everything that's not in A. Well, in that case, that's what I'm doing. I'm shading everything outside of the A circle. So a few examples here. Um, we'll just take them in order. And again, what I'm going to do is kind of build up to them in a few little separate um, you know, a few little separate pictures. I think the first one actually isn't too bad. Um, so now we've got three sets. We've got A, we've got B, and then we've also got our set C. Now suppose I just do A and B first. Well, if I do A and B, I'm shading everything inside the A circle and the B circle. So that would actually be this uh, same little region as before. It's just now there's an extra circle sitting on it. So that's, you know, that's no problem. So here's A, B, and C. Now, if I just shade circle C, well, that would be, you know, everything in circle C here. That's, that's our, other, um, our other set here. And remember, when we do the intersection of these two sets, because that's what we're doing, we're doing the intersection of A and B um, with C, now we shade the overlap. So basically, you know, what regions are colored in both pictures? And you can almost imagine, you know, again, putting the little, this, this diagram over top of the other one. The stuff that would be shaded in in both pictures, that's going to be our final solution here. So here's A, here's B, here's C. So if we were to take the overlap, the only region that's in common in both pictures would be the stuff, well, inside of all of them. And that's what it says, you know, we're shading everything. We're shading the region that's in circle A and in circle B and in circle C. Well, that would just be the little, uh, kind of the very centermost part. So this would be A and B and C. So this would be our final answer here at the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to do uh, number number two here as well, and then uh, I think I'll do three and four in a, a separate a separate one. So okay, so again, the first thing I'm going to do is just shade A or B. So we've done this one now. So there's A, there's B, there's C. So A, B, and C. If I shade A or B, again, we're just shading everything in circle A along with everything in circle B. So it says you get shaded if you're in A or B. Okay, so that would be, that would be everything in those two circles. Okay, and likewise, if we, if we think about just simply shading in the set C, that's going to be like in our other example. So A, B, C. If we shade in everything in circle C, we'll just get that region as our uh, shaded region. So there's our set C. But again, now we're doing the intersection of these two regions. So again, I'm thinking about the overlap I'm thinking about the overlap of those two regions. So in this case, I believe the overlap, or again, what regions are shaded in both diagrams? Well, there's A, there's B, there's C. Well, OK, I think the only region that's going to be in, that's in common in both diagrams is going to be, uh, notice we've got uh, this little part. That'll be the same also kind of the very center part, 
and then also this other little sort of uh, other region here. So if we find the intersection or shade the region that's in common, we'll just get this little region, it's got to be in the C circle, or it can also be in the A and B circle. So this would be our final solution here. This would be the region A or B and C. And again, that's what it says. It says you're either in A or B, you're in one of the two, and at the same time in circle C. So I'll do the other two in another example, but again, I think, uh, you know, this is how I used to think about them, and I, can, I still do, really. I kind of do them pairwise and either think about overlaps, like we did here uh, with intersections, or again, if it's unions, I just simply shade everything.